We're rolling the game? Yeah, we're rolling. So, why do we have... Actions! <laughs> <laughs> why do we have so many problems as far as our, as our um, hips are concerned? The most common presentation for people in the West is hip replacements and knee replacements. Yeah? For one simple reason that we decide to go to the toilet on a chair with a hole in it. So we sit on a toilet. Give us a seat there, please, honey. Thank you. Put a hole in it. Ah, oh, there we go. That's fine. The trouble is, is that this is not a good way to do a poo. Yeah, it's a very bad way to do a poo. And the reason it's a bad way to do a poo is in this position, my rectum is pointing round a corner. Now you don't want to have poo in a corner. It's never a good idea. You always get away from that. Okay. So. How would we be if we were back in the forest, yeah, if we were going camping this weekend and there was no toilet, yeah, we'd have to dig a hole and we'd get down here. Yeah? So this is the position that we would defecate in yeah? if we lived in the forest. Now in this position, what's happened? My pelvis is tilted, so now my rectum is pointed down. Yeah? So now I get nice clearance. Nice, everything pops out. Thank you very much. Pull my finger. So also in this position, my hips are fully flexed. They're as big as they can possibly be. My knees are fully flexed. Yeah? My ankles are pretty much fully flexed. There's not much more movement I can get through my ankles. Yeah? So, I do this every day, twice a day. And after a while, I find that I'm still doing it. I'm 50, I'm 60, I'm 70. I'm still doing this position. I'm still being able to get full flexion. Now, for most people, they won't be able to do that. So, everybody get down and have a little go. Come on, everybody get down. Come on, sit down here. Yeah. All right. Now, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Okay, so if you can't get your heels down, it's because you can't do that anymore. If it feels uncomfortable, it's because you can't do that anymore. You used to be able to do it when you were kids or monkeys or what have you. You used to be able to do it, but now, if you're feeling that you're going to sit backwards or what have you, yeah, no, it's tough, isn't it? Okay, you can't bend your knees. Why? Because you stopped doing it a long time no. ago. No. No. Okay. <laughs> it may be for some reason, but the tension is there. Now, if we went to Asia, if we went to India and China, then you'd find you'd have people in their 60s, 70s, 80s in this position. Why? Because they get into this position all the time. Now, here's the thing. In this position, I now have better clearance of my bowels. I have less... I uh, have pressure onto my hips and my knees, so I end up with less diverticulitis, less Crohn's disease, less uh, irritable bowel syndrome. I don't use my diaphragm to clear my bowels, so therefore I have better diaphragmatic function, and so on and so forth. That one little thing, that one decision that we all made 100 years ago to sit on a toilet with a, you know, a chair with a hole in it, has had long lasting consequences for all of our society. Now, I'm not suggesting you go home and you dig a hole. Get yourself some toilet, some toilet roll. Get yourself some phone books and some gaffer tape, a roll of gaffer tape and some tape, and just tape your, yourself up so that your feet, so your knees, are slightly higher than your hips when you sit on the toilet. And the difference is going to be remarkable. And that is the poo speech.